So if you're going to be posting this much content on social media, you're going to need to have a very good method for creating a lot of content. You want to take the decision making out of this entire process. So, you, so by taking the decision making out of the uh, regular day to day, you can be much more effective. The last thing you want to do is run into a situation where you're having to think of on the spot. Oh, what do I what do I talk about to post on my personal page today? Uh, I got a, I added 300 people yesterday. What what do I I know I know I need to warm them. What do I do? You don't want to run into that situation because whenever you do that, you're going to run into a writer's block situation. So you want to always be giving yourself the ability to um, make all the decisions one day a week, figure out everything that you're going to do, maybe once a month, figure out everything that you're going to do, and then come back, create that calendar, and easily be able to choose the uh, content that you need to write for the next couple of days. So the last thing, you, you also don't want to be like planning out a month ahead because as soon as you start falling behind, you're going to wipe it out, want to start over. It's just a waste of time. So just plan out the next couple of posts, maybe two or three days as you're writing them, okay? Um, plan out what you have time to write. Break up this whole process into shorter chunks so they're bite-sized for you. So the first thing that I do is the topic brainstorming document. So... In the post brainstorm section of this document, you're going to want to um, just map out everything that you want to talk about. Okay, uh, you've got a lot of ideas in your mind that are that are that are damming up all of the flow of brainstorming and ideas. So get those out right now. So um, say, okay. So uh, I'm thinking about relationships here. So just dump everything you can think of. Spend your time brainstorming. Get it out of your mind because all of that is uh, damming up the flow of real creative information. So get it out okay? as much as you can until you get to a point where you are writer's blocked and you can't think of anything else. Okay. Once you've done that, head to the next section, which is category mapping. Now with category mapping, your, um, the first thing you want to do is list out all the categories and subcategories that your training covers. So let's say unaware. They might be thinking about um, optimizing their service or referrals, getting more reviews. Okay, these are the kinds of things when they're completely unaware that they might be considering that I could talk about. For problem aware, this is when they start understanding, like, what does their problem entail? So not enough referrals. And remember, these are categories. These are not specific topics. These are categories of information that you're going to list here. So not enough referrals. Um, competitors. You might feel that the competitors are taking up all of your, your business. Mindset. Back up here, I might say confused on direction. And then when they're problem aware, they might not have enough leads. And then they start getting solution aware and maybe they're thinking about SEO or paid ads, social media marketing or search engine marketing, something of that nature. So these are all the solutions that they're assuming they need. Maybe they, they think that they need messaging or maybe they think they need mindset. Or maybe that, you know, in, in a therapist situation, they may think that they need a therapist. So list out all the solutions that they're going to think they want. Go back through your empathy document, pull as many categories of ideas as you can from that empathy document, and also go through your offer document and pull as many categories of ideas that you can from your offer document. This is going to give you a ton of categories to start with. You'll end up with a good 10 or 20 categories. And then niche aware, uh, this is when you're getting into... Um, well, what do they know about your solution? What's the prevailing knowledge? What, what are your competitors talking about? What do they think they need to do? What do, and what do they know about you? What's special about you? So that's everything in your niche. So once you get to a point where you are saying, okay, I can't think of enough categories. I'm, my, my mind is blocked. Then great. Now we're ready for the next step. Listing out subcategories of each of these. But 
when we get to this stage, breaking down the buyer's journey, this is where the magic really happens. So the easiest one to do is problem aware. So it's I'm aware, I've considered it, I've made the decision. Okay. So step one is to ask yourself, where is the prospect mentally at this stage of the process when they are problem aware and they are aware of their problem? So where's the prospect at mentally at this stage of the process? Uh, let me see. So I'm aware, okay, I'm aware that I have a lot of bills to pay and it's eating up my profit. That's what your, your uh, audience is telling themselves right now. What if they've considered that they might need a solution? So what would they be thinking at this point? So not only are they aware, we're taking it one step further. So build, you don't have to restate the aware, just build on top of it. So I'm aware that I have a lot of bills that are eating out my profit. I've considered cutting services and maybe getting a loan. Now build on top of it. I've made the decision. So that's where they are mentally. Now, what information do they need to continue moving forward? So when they're at this stage, that I have a lot of inf a lot of bills to pay and it's eating up my profit. Now, we what we want to do is we want them to jump down to solution aware so we can start working them down here. So we want them to consider and we want them to make a decision and move to the next stage of awareness. How are we going to get them to do that here? What information do they need to move forward? So if they're aware that they have a lot of bills and it's eating up their profit, Maybe they need um, a statistic. Maybe they need something to put them over the edge. They need some kind of statistic to show them how quickly a drip becomes a bucket. All those expenses that are going out the door, how quickly are those really adding up 30%? If you could save them 30% on an electrical bill by changing out all their lights to LED, and now they're saving $5,000 a month in the warehouse, um, I've even seen people save $10,000 a month in the warehouse doing that. Uh, maybe they need a statistic to show them you're losing $100,000 per year because you don't have LED lights. Yes, LED lights are going to cost you $20,000 to install. So you're letting the, the pain of paying $10,000 extra every month add up because you're unwilling to pay the $20,000 that it's going to take to fix it. So maybe they just need to, that put in perspective. And then you can go down and list out something else. What other information do they need to continue moving forward? That's going to get them to both um, consider and make a decision to move on to the next stage of saying, oh, wow, I definitely need to find a solution. All right, next step, I've considered. What information do they need to move forward? So they've considered cutting services and maybe getting a loan. We want them to take action. They haven't made the decision at this point, so we need to definitely get them to make the decision. We also need them to take action and actually go find a solution. This is where I might bring in the pain. You can sit here and come up with, you know, five or ten of these different ideas in each of these sections, um, but I'm going to jump down here now and say, okay, what content would you create to deliver that information? Uh, so you could create, obviously, value posts. Um, you could create, maybe you create a uh, call to action, a checklist. They're aware that their bill, bills are piling up. And if you want them to really see how quickly it adds up, maybe you... Um, do a checklist of average savings or uh, a matrix or something to show them, hey, on your electrical bill, we've been able to save this much. And so here's the total add up. Go ahead and grab this, this uh, worksheet, plug in your bills and add them all up. And then your average savings. What could you possibly stand to save if you made this decision? Okay, so if you were to hand that out and say, hey, I've just created a worksheet that you'll be able to plug in all of your bills and the average savings that we've been able to get to, uh, to see how much money you could actually uh, save, 
using our services. Uh, here's a free worksheet. Does anybody want it in those areas? You know, they're just sitting on it right now and they really haven't made the decision, but now they're going to consider it. They're going to fill out that document and it's going to help them make that decision. The fourth row, what types of content could you test to deliver that information? Naturally, I'm just going to put in here and say, well, it's going to be a Facebook value post. But if you're using uh, a different service like Reddit or YouTube, and this is just to give you an idea of thinking out of the box um, of what, what ways you could distribute that information. And the last item here, uh, what key terms will stand out to them at this stage? So remember, we want to attract our angels and we want to push away our demons. So the best way to do that is to nail down what are those attractive words and what are those repelling words that you're going to be able to use. So take a moment and list those out here, the key terms that stand out to them at this stage of uh, paying your bills and eating up profit. As you're doing this for each stage of the process, a lot of things are going to come to mind. And so you just come back up here to the categories and you map it out and you're like, oh, problem aware loans. I might want to talk about loans. I might want to talk about uh, services or cutting services. I might want to talk about cost of lost time. So this is going to give you a lot more ideas and really get the juices flowing. Once you've filled out this document, gone through this exercise on your editorial calendar document, this is going to help you manage all of the time and effort that you're putting into things. I have a list of influencers here. I'll put in their name, a link to their profile, what their bio description says, and then I will update, are they a competitor, a direct competitor, meaning they're competing against the same audience with the same service, or an indirect, that they're competing against the same audience, but a different service, or an influencer, they are not competing, they just have the ear of my audience. Look at all of them. What are they talking about that your audience wants to hear? That's a great way to brainstorm. Another thing is this inspirational post tab I have down here. On this tab, what you're looking at doing is listing out all the titles of posts that you might come across. In my groups, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll scroll down through the top posts. I'm looking for big posts here. Okay, so here's one that's 93. Oh, anyone ever got results from, oh, you know, being honest and telling the truth? 93. 93 people responded. So that's not a ton of people, but you might grab it. See, this one's poorly explained what you do for a living, 163. What to do when a client says, I can't afford you. And I got 331 comments on that. So these are the big posts that you want to track. And when I come into a new group, a lot of times I'll like and go through all the posts in that group and just grab a bunch of ideas of the posts that are resonating really well. So I'll scroll through that group for months of posts and um, grab all the top ones that did really well in the groups. I'll track, you know, uh, a link directly to them, what type of posts they were, when they were published, and then later likes, comments, and shares. So this is my inspirational post. A lot of times I'll come across things that I'm like, oh, they did a really good job. I want to track that. So I'm going to grab that post, add it back in here so that I can come back to it later and maybe copy it. Now that you have a bunch of influencers, a bunch of inspirational posts, and a bunch of uh, category topics that you want to talk about, the next thing that you're going to want to do is brainstorm. So I'm going to grab referrals. I'm going to come over here to my little headline generator. When you're in the headline generator, all of these fields that I have listed out are editable. You plug in your audience here. My target audience is a blank. Is it a beginner investor, an ebook author, a home seller? Is it a emotional guy? You put that in. Number one keyword topic. I gave some examples here. Are you stock investing, ebook marketing, for sale by owner, home buying? Like, what are we talking about here? Let's talk about relationship. Relationships. What the hell's another way to refer to that? Let's talk about uh, women. This is the keyword topic. Or is it emotions? What you sell. You can use your exact, this is what I sell. So you could say, if that's how you named your thing, like type, 
type that in right there. What it is. The thing that I want them to buy is now pain relief of supplement group coaching. The thing I want them to buy is definitely an adjective. So under the radar, it's free, it's little known, it's proven, it's black hole, it's um, say motivating. Number one result that they want. My audience really wants to pick up more chicks, really wants to uh, be successful in life. Number two result, be confident again. Magic wand, how quickly? Sure, immediately, we'll, we'll say automatically, quickly. The pain that they want to avoid. And my audience really wants to avoid paralyzing depression. The roadblock, what's stopping them? Even if blank, even if you have a problem getting seen, even if Maybe that's the roadblock, okay? And how quickly? Well, we'll just say 90 days. Okay, I help emotional guys be successful in life without paralyzing depression by Wake Up Waiter. So you just edit that a little bit. And there you go, you got it. Uh, discover how to Wake Up Warrior Mastermind gives you the exact steps to be successful in life and be confident again without paralyzing depression. Look how beautiful that headline is. So all of these headlines are now, <clears throat> not only these headlines, but all of these post ideas throughout, do you recognize the seven early warning signs of paralyzing depression are now tailored. They're perfectly tailored for you, maybe a little bit of editing, and you can come back through here, take the different categories and use that category to answer these questions. So for example, if you're saying, okay, they are not getting enough referrals. That's what I want to talk about, referrals. So put that in mind. Just say referrals. Okay, my niche audience is who? So now all of this is tailored to that. Help retail businesses get more customers without losing customers to competitors by automating referral collection. Scroll way down. How to get more customers. How to master referrals in six steps. Three common reasons why your, why your referrals aren't working. Is tech making referrals better or worse? So now it's all tailored just for those topics so that you can come back to your editorial calendar and copy those over for that topic. So if you go through each of your topic ideas or topic categories, after I've got a ton of items listed, then what I'll do is uh, state where I want to post it. So do you manage an email list? Maybe you want to send out an email. Are you going to put it to your Facebook profile? Are you going to post it into a group? So now you can come in here. And if you want to specifically talk about or put in your groups that you want to target in here, you're more than welcome to do that. And you'll be able to click on it like that. Okay. Uh, this will give you a specific location of where you've got your content planned for. And so what I like to do is go through and say, oh, yeah, I want to talk about this one. And then I want to talk about this one. And, oh, I, I know I need it. Oh, and you know what? I came up with another idea. I spoke to a guy on the phone, and he had a problem um, with objection handling. And, you know, I need to talk about that this week because that guy uh, is a hot one, and I, and I want to close him. So once you've planned it out, and then you can say, um, are you stuck writing it? Are you writing it? Currently, I'm working on writing it. And then I'll post a, uh, a doc link here. So I've got my posts organized here into attention and attraction. And then I've got a bunch of um, categories of the different kinds of posts. So you can open this up. And uh, then what I'll do is go ahead and just say, okay, well, new post idea. And I'm going to take this objection, title my document after it. And then just grab this link and drop it right here. There we go. We'll get over to start writing the posts on this. So you've got all your content planned out here of what you're going to do. When you're done writing your post, uh, you can say, yep, I'm done with this. Yep, I'm done with this. It was intended for my Facebook profile. 
And uh, I plan to, um, I plan to publish this tomorrow. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll pl I'll plan out all these and say, you know, this is what I'm going to do for tomorrow, or this one I'm going to do um, a day out, two days out, right? And so I plan all my posts like this, and uh, and then I'll go through and create the documents, and then you can just jump in and start writing content for these posts, and then the next morning, every morning when you wake up, you come right to this document of the documents of the posts that you have ready to post and where you're going to post them. I just open up on my phone, the doc link. And, uh, and then I copy the full document that I've written and it's pre-styled and everything. And then I just go to my, uh, the group or my profile, wherever I'm going to post it. I post the document when I'm done, I come back and I click the little checkbox. I have posted that one. I will also load up the organic metrics go to the group post to say, if I post it on the group, I'll post it here. So I'll say, here's the post. Boom. It's pending. I did it into this group or on my profile. And uh, this is the date that I did it. Okay. So I will put this content in with a link to it in the post. This is not the document link. This is a link to where uh, the exact post that you did it in the group. And then what happens I'll keep coming back to check to make sure they posted it because a lot of times when you create posts like this, they will get deleted or declined and you're not notified at all. And so don't write it directly into the into Facebook because you'll lose it. So that's why I write it into my docs on here and I do it so I can access it from my phone or from anywhere or have other people edit it and proofread it. And, uh, and then I'll come back. And uh, so I have uh, my VA actually go find the images for those. So they'll come back, check the documents, go through, just double check everything and then edit it and find the document for me. And then it's ready. And I come out here and post it, say that it's pending. I want to make sure that it, it uh, gets listed because I put a lot of effort into it. And then you can come back here and sort the column for, to show you everything that you've just planned out. And then you can go ahead and plan what groups you're going to drop them into and so forth. Uh, that's normally what I want. What I do is pick a couple and say, okay, I've got written down here on a piece of paper. I want to talk in these groups. Let me find one for each. Bam, bam, bam. Plan them out and then ready to go.